Hello and welcome to Highcast. Today we got a game on Swiftwater on all the stuff it is going to be featuring the two teams from North American Steel, the Red Division. In the blue we have Ace H Ace S H M Secondhand Mercenaries. Yes, they're in the blue. On in the red we have D W I, which is not Dance with Intensity, the Beat Mania clone, but it's uh, Deal with it. So we can go over the rosters real quick because it's set up time and I got 34 seconds to do that. So on the blue team, we have the Medic Wolf, we got the Devil Man Wonder, we got the Pyro New Man, we got the Heavy the Pret Pretender. We got Pencil on Engineer, we got Karma looking for a black paint on Sniper, we got Droogie Droogie. Droogie Droogie Too Chevy on Soldier, we got uh, Keeper 18 on Spy, and we got Rien Too Spooky on Scout. And for the blue team, we got, uh, cause I'm the Medic TF2 deserves on Medic, we got uh, MJ on Demoman, we got Calypso on Engineer, we got Jess on Scout, we got Light Emitting DD on Pyro, we got Elu Elucidate on Sniper, we got Mute on Spy, Small Place on Soldier, and Herder on Heavy, and that should be all. Yes. So already we are seeing the sniper is in the sniper house, he's being currently being taken out by a spy, and they still face corners, matter or trick, stair stab there. Spy is not done though, he is going forward, so keep in mind we have, um, Mute is the spy for, um, deal with it. And here comes a Delman bomb, gonna be taking out the sentry and the engineer, nice little work there, as they clean up this first, uh, area of defense here. Uh, spooky times out. So currently, blue team uh, has a player down. So that's gonna hurt him a little bit. The pretender moving up here, being the first leading the pack. All the heal he needs is on the cart. However, he gets a couple of dark hit hits. Um, that's not a stutter, but the weapon is called dark hit. And when you hit with a dark hit, it's called a dark hit hit. Is generally what you what you get. So he's on the cart, still pushing, still going forward. Spooky just rejoining the game. No pause or anything. Light emitting Diddy, gonna be taking out the spy before being taken out himself. Pencil, nice engineer name, if I may so say so myself. He's gonna put up in the mini sentry in a nice little spot. He's gonna be able to wrangle any and old uh, snipers that's hiding around in the corridor here. We also got Karma looking for black paint. Uh, he's the medic. The medic has a death wish, and then he brings up Pan. And the other sniper getting in position with this pink little hat. We got them running crits Krieg on defense, which is something we don't often see, but nice crits here. Oh, a huge cleanup. Somebody call the cleanup crew because there's just a mess up in this aisle. Wow, nice work there by Mr. Demo Man, MJ underscore, cleaning up everything. And oh, the pan kill. This man. This man right here, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is a beast. Again, if you, you want to look up the dictionary, you see beast, you see mute. This guy, right here, single-handedly with a with with a slight help of his crits, Krieg, medic gets out and then his heavy just dies. This guy comes in, tries to push on the cart. He is not done being pressured, but he has this level three backing him up, so he's going to be looking at mighty fine right now. Currently 14 frags on my guy. That guy is crazy with his positioning. Let's see if the soldier's going to be able to do. Oh, one rocket takes out the snipe. That is a nice pick, of course. Any kill we can get for free and not die is a good one. Pulling back, grabbing the health. Oh, Spy's in a good spot here. Flunks it. Unfortunately, and he's going to be forced to uh, retreat here with his uh, tail between his legs, pretty much, if he had one. So they have the sentry up in this little choke area, and now it's a counter crits. Hero Doman, but oh no, there are our Uber Charge, and that doesn't work very well against crits. Um, so let's see if this heavy is going to be able to do anything. Unfortunately, not, because it was only the heavy, but he did get the sentry. The other heavy is still alive, and then he gets taken up by a dark hit here. But oh, look at the keeper, man. He's in a really good spot. Is, is he gonna go for a drop stab? Next is the medic. He's gonna be moving up. Oh! Hits him once, hits him twice, bring out the pistol, just shoot him! Oh, he got the health back. Oh. Unfortunate there. Could have gotten him. And uh, the uh, cart does a uh, 360. Excellent. We have a new man. Pyro, new man, 144, 144. Pushing the cart here. And this cart is uh, moving forward. 
Crits pop once again on their hero, Devil Man. Doesn't really hit quite as well this time. Soldier is here to clean up with the Dark Hit. Showing us that the Dark Hit can be quite good if you use it correctly, which he does in tight narrow areas where people don't have a lot of area to defend. And now they're contesting this upper area here on these engineers is dead. The soldier tries to jump up and he's like, I want to be there too! But you can't, because you can't jump through that window actually. As far as I know. Sniper comes in with his fancy boots, going to be uh, jitter jumping around. So why not? Scout here, Spooky, Ryan, gets taken out by a sticky trap, courtesy of Mr. Um, MJ. Calypso here with a hero level 2 sentry, uh oh, gets taken out, he goes down as well. Crits here, once again, is gonna clean up everything, he gets the heavy, he gets the sniper. Uh, soldier survives, but there is absolutely no one left, and then he just brings out the last piece of spam. And then Spooky times out once again, so apparently some connection issues for the blue team as of right now. So we got Karama looking for black pink, still moving out. They got this little door open here, that's gonna help a little bit when they move up. Droogie here barely escaping on fire, grabbing a health kit, getting healed by his medic, and he has a hat that shows that he has spent a lot of money on games last summer. The summer before last summer. Summer 2011. Slowly moving forward here, itching their way. Sentry's only level one. Keeper with the backstab, because I'm the medic TF2 deserves, gets taken out. He says, my face, so maybe it was a face tap, and he goes, no, no, I totally was like, corner back stair stab, Matador. And that's gonna feel bad, because that's a legit stab, but barely missing there. So Mute not being as lucky with those stabs as he should be. And he pulls up a headshot, doesn't register. That happens to everybody. Gonna try again, gonna miss. Unfortunately, it's going to be taken out by an engineer. Not going to be feeling too good about that one. Here we have Calypso, the engineer, building with the Jag, building it up. Does he have a dispenser? No. He is rushing for a sentry, and the thing is, if you don't have a dispenser and they rush your sentry, you're going to die with the sentry. Here comes the Uber Pops. So let's see if he's going to be able to hold this. He is absolutely not going to be able to hold this at all. I don't even think a dispenser would have hold him. The spies is doing some harassment. Zap Devilman comes in, but whoa! People go flying, and some way, somehow, this sentry is still alive. And he's like, yeah, I wanted to overshot him, but I didn't get him. Then he gets taken out, so now there's a mini sentry wrangled on that sentry. Sentry on sentry action, one uh, being taken out, and the other does not. So now it's still worked there by uh, Pencil. Probably was part of his plan that he wrote with a pencil. Uh oh! Yude here can get a really nice drop here. Nice crits though coming in from the demo man once again. Getting noob man. Just getting noob man and a couple of others, I think. Not the best of crits. Medics being really out of position. Seven health. He goes down. Nice little pick there. The pretender runs in here, pretending he's a sentry, I guess. Bringing the pain. Gonna be taking out this portable health pack. Also known as a pyro. And uh, we're gonna be taking out the soldier as well, putting more time on that cart, pushing it forward, and then turning around to catch the spy, and the sniper goes down to wonder as well. The demo man for some or the uh, so secondhand mercenaries, yeah. Just wanted to make sure that was the correct name for the team. Secondhand mercenaries, pushing the cart forward. Deal with it. Has to deal with it. I don't know. So right now they they had this momentum going. Uh, this demo man is way behind enemy lines. It's the hero demo. If anyone can get the jump, it would be his. But it was a mini sentry here that got off a chunk of his uh, health there. Uh, soldier doesn't go for the trap though. He's really low. Is his medic still alive? He gets caught out. That is the end of his adventure. Wasn't too uh, lucky about that one, unfortunately. So they're still pushing the car here. Uh, Heavy comes in from the back. Medic gets taken out. This is just simply not gonna cut it. Pyro comes in, tries to stall, just pushing people off the cart, but then he will get taken out fairly quickly as well. Uh, there we go, down he goes. There's only a level one sentry up here. It's gonna get wrangled because I heard a spy decloak. I think that was the enemy spy. Yep, and down the engineer goes and set up the sentry and no more static defense. And I think if secondhand mercenaries just push up the aggression and has times three on the cart the entirety of the time, there won't be enough defense here to stop. A nice backstab by Keeper once again.
taking out the medic and this uh, pirate is blowing people around, so... Trying to buy some more time here. As the cart is moving forward, Scout is pressuring the medic, but the heavy will have none of that. That's both he and the pyro. Sniper's up top. Hero sniper time! Gets blown back and utterly denied, and he's like, oh, I gotta run away back in shame. Oh, no. Fucking those guys. Oh, Sapai got me! And the keeper kills him as well. The keeper doing quite the amount of work here. Heavy is on the low ground trying to get something done. The keeper, he's not done, man. He gets the heavy as well, and this is a last minute defense. Currently no sentry up. Yeah, the sentry is up, but it's only level one. And you really don't want to wrangle it at this point. You just want to carry up and make sure, because nobody's actually pushing the cart right now. But hey, is that a spy? Yeah, you bet your ass it's spy. It's keeper. I'm just going to go at this engineer once again, but keeper, he is actually at full health, so he's absolutely fine. He's going for the heavy. Doesn't get him. Gets covered in Gerardi, but the counter point at 9 minutes and 44 seconds. So that means he can go on to the second round here. So I'm, I'm going to be looking at the pencil cam and see what this funky Texan engineer is going to do. He is actually going to run back to spawn and grab um, some ammo. But that you don't really need to do that, because what I do, I play sniper, is that as soon as I run out the door, I suicide. So the engineer can just pick up my metal and keep running. So we will see what pencil decides to do what sort of kind of defense he opts to go for. We uh, Usually the first defense is just to buy more time for whatever. So he's gonna go, yeah. Not dispenser first, okay, but then he's gonna build, uh, yeah, then he's gonna build a dispenser. And, uh, shouldn't really rack on the sentry, because that's a waste of time in the setup time, if you want to maximize your builds. You should really work on the dispenser as much as you can and just rush for that, and that will help you so much and the rest of the team as well. So he's gonna move the sentry, spend more time on that. Will not work on getting his dispenser up faster. And it's currently 10 seconds left, and he has level 1 everything, so not the best of rollouts there for the engineer. However, he has a working teleporter, but he's clustered everything together, so if he lose one of these buildings to splash damage, he will lose all of them. So it all comes down to this engagement. Let's take a look at the jumping demo man! He flies over, and he got the teleporter. But the engineer is still alive, the sentry is level 3. We really need to get the teleporter back up as soon as possible. There's no people dead for uh, um, secondhand mercenaries as of just yet, but uh, deal with it. Uh, we'll be putting on some more pressure. I'm sure this demo man is going to be. Oh, yeah, he is in a real good spot. Look at these stickies. Look at these stickies. Bringing the pain and crashing the game. And we are back with after the crash here, slightly before the crash happened, Uber popped, things going in and out and dying left and right. Spy comes in, zaps the sentry, the engineer is too far away, gets a stab on the demo man. Nice spy work there! As he, um, they uh, clear out everything, so deal with it. Says to secondhand mercenaries, well, you guys were really secondhand, we just killed everything. Look at that wipe! Only the medic escaped with allowing 70 health. It's not forced to fall back, however, because I'm the medic. Doesn't really have full health yet, so, but I really like this forward position. Soldier taking the high ground is going to be taking out this medic eventually. Nope. Get shut down. But Mewdy, he's going to be getting his uh, stab happening fairly soon on this demo man. Does something to crit. Oh, misses the medic. Gets a little jump from his soldier buddy on the enemy team, but can't really pull it off, unfortunately. But here comes the crits, though. Are they able to get anything else? Well, the soldier got a couple of guys. And that was pretty much it. So you got Pencil, whacking away at the sentry here. Keep in mind this is a best of three, so if um, the attacking team doesn't win, um, they win this round, because they have to beat this time. Because the time is ticking away, currently eight minutes left. So the round will anyway end at eight minutes. So they got eight minutes to push it all the way. So let's see what... Uh, Deal with it. He's able to do. They have the heavy and the uh, plunges on the high ground. Soldier in there, right? Nice bit spot. A nice spot there. Scout pushing the forward. Sniper watching. Gets the headshot on the scout. You're dead, man. You got shot in the head. Crits here on their uh, demo man. Unfortunately, doesn't get uh, the job done because there's actually no one here. But where are they? I think. Oh, sniper. Uh oh. He's in a good spot. Can he get something done? Well. No, he gets counter sniped. <laughs> but unfortunately, Karma is like, yeah, that was Karma, man. I got you. So we got Wonder here. Wonder's Delman gets stabbed by Beauty. Takes him out. Nice little pick there. 
gonna be running that regular clock. Oh! Just hiding in a corner. He did close the scout. We'll hear him. The scout didn't hear him. Oh! Gaps the stab on the scout and then he cloaks and then he's gonna be running out there. Nice little spice stab there. He sees the heavy. Oh! Gets the heavy as well. Heavy goes down and then he is on fire and people know where he's at. And he's on fire and he's covered in urine. The worst possible feel, but some way, somehow, he survives. Card moves forward, engineer using the Widowmaker. And then he gets taken out. Got the nice little spy work there. Taking out the heavy. There's actually a pyro behind enemy lines here. This meta is really would have been really dead if he weren't for that pyro man. And the heavy's like, yep, portable health pack, he got you. Scout and scout action in the tunnel. Blue scout comes out on top. Jess will have nothing to do with it. Herder. <laughs> Pops the Uber and then the other spy just stabs the heavy and they really got the momentum going. They really got a nice cap. They're really showing their dominance in the offense right now. Just plow plowing through here. Red Soldier is up top, so let's see if he's able to do anything. He's like, yeah, not gonna jump through that window. Here we go. He's gonna stay on the high ground for as long as possible. The only man shooting stickies, and he is still alive. I'm gonna be running inside this house and maybe be grabbing a little health kit soon because he's really low. The only man takes an alto, so that ain't gonna happen. MJ, the hero demo of the hour. Gotta be moving up here. Where do they have the sentry? The sentry is up, it's only level 2. Spy comes up and just stabs the engine. He's like, oh, yeah, you killed him? Alright. Guess I'll just sap this then and be on my way. And, oh, doesn't really get the sniper. Sniper hits him with the bushwhacker. Spy douse to a roller. Courtesy of a wonder. Soldier bombs up. Yo, up? Am I late? Oh, kill everybody? Roger that. Gonna get them, this pyro, but then get blasted because uh, reflects are really good. Druiga Druiga calling nice because that was actually really nice work of the uh, blue pyro there. Excellent reflect action. Oh. Okay, they know he's there. They heard him. They absolutely know he is there. Soldier, gonna be taking him out. And since he just uses Edringer, they know that he can play Edringer again. So here's Uber popped. Medic with crits. Is he gonna do anything this heavy? Is gonna go down. There's nothing he can do about it. He goes down. Her, der. Still alive. They lost his doctor. He, no, their medic is still alive. He's only 32 health though. He has a sandwich, so he can just at any point in time just eat that. He's real on health. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna heal this. There we go. People having a good time. Complimenting the other team when they're doing well. Not talking trash. These are the kind of teams we like to see. So we have the final stage here where they really need to get the momentum going. They have all their power classes. Look at the positioning of the blue team right now really well. So they really have a really nice position here. They have the high ground and they're just gonna flush out the defenders. Fairly easily, the moment is up top, but he's all alone and he gets taken out by teamwork. Unfortunately, he can't solo one shot everything in this game, it is impossible. Because if the others just gang up on you, you don't to kill anyone. Oh, nice little heavy roll medic action here on the side. And then they're gonna give away the presenter stopper. He's watching though. You gotta look out for sniper. He is watching. There goes the sniper. But he is going to be denied by the soldier. Oh, dude, the sniper is still alive, though. Got to look out for these windows. He might get a lucky headshot through one of these windows. Uh, Uber is popped on the heavy, and he's like, yeah, punch him. Get him. Um, Punch. Punch. Yeah, getting him. Punch. Put on the scouts like, yeah, we're just going to kill you. Damn, it's having a bit of a burp from drinking all that beer. Spooky here with the pistol action on the sniper. But he is gonna be focused fire down, so he's just running around being on fire. Get him. Oh, he's actually gonna get the. How oh, is he still alive? This is like a ninja scout here. He's like sneaking, he's like hiding in plain sight. He's like a transformer that doesn't transform, <laughs> and people still don't see him. And SM Keeper here with a little streak here happening. And he's gonna be using this uh, spy script because that helps, kind of, they think. They like to think that helps. Uh, uh, finally gets the pyro. Crits popped here by Wolf, the medic. He's gonna be taken out here. Scout's gonna be pressuring this medic and gets him. Jess gets the job done. We got Wonder sticking up uh, the card here. Eventually, they're on the low ground, and that is not a spot they want to be in. 
Card is moving forward. I am punching my jar into stuff desk and they have two minutes to do this, which is plenty of time to push it this way. So they're really looking good. It looks like they'll take this nice reflex action there by the pyro. People dropping on the cart here and there is not a lot they can do. They're just jumping on the cart one at a time. Enemy heavy comes up here and he is just gonna push it into victory. Hero sniper with the bushwhacker gets the heavy, but falls in the pit and dies. And that is uh, first round to um, deal with it. We're back to the second half and the gates are about to open. Set of time has uh, come and gone and they've set up. Teams are currently deal with it on blue and second hand mercenaries in the red. As things are finally getting on this level. Three century up, fairly similar build to what we've seen in the last round. Currently, uh, let's see the blue team pushing forward. Uber is popped on their heavy. Let's see if they can get this position going. Pyro, nice. It'll reflect the heavy there. Uh, red heavy goes down to something. As currently, the kill feed is missing, which makes stuff a lot harder. Right there we go. Now it's back. Excellent. Pressing tab get, gives you the kill feed back. Excellent. Holy hell. Is a word uttered by one of the red team players. As they just got absolutely murdered. And this spy, it's just like, it's been chill for a while. Well, anyway, even without the spy, they are still pushing forward. We got noob man, absolutely not a noob. It's gonna be helping his engineer set up because they're buddies. Kurt is moving forward at a nice steady pace here. Demo man, the hero wonder for his team. Of course, the other prodigy demo, MJ, dealing some sticky damage as they keep moving on. Being fairly successful with crits this round, I must say. They've been really good. We got Ryan. They're hiding at the back here. Droogie Doogie gonna be jumping and falling to his death because, as you do, a <laughs> bit unfortunate there. Keeper here gonna get the stab on nothing because he's like, yeah, you guys can just kill him. I don't need to stab him if you kill him. Doesn't give away my position. He's gonna be getting this demo man and pyro instead. Doesn't get the pyro. The pyro didn't even notice that his friend died. He's going to be wailing away at the medic and the heavy sees him and unfortunately gets taken out. The wolf here taking a bit of a damage from uh, some heavy gunfire. Currently on the high ground with his demo man. Really exposed. Soldier jumps up though. He gets one rocket off on the demo man. Demo man still at Froly. Full health. Demo man is ahead. Medic pops and this demo man's going to chase down this heavy. And he's like, help! I'm so fat. Okay, I'm going to run away. Bah, bah, bah. Gloves are running urgently. And then he's going to join up with his medic. And surprisingly staying alive here. As long as he keeps takes some cover behind this wall and heals back up, he will be just fine. The red heavy uh, has not as much health, but there's gonna be a lot more. The spy chases him, and there's a bit of a round roof Benny Hill style, but eventually he just gets taken out. So this push stops from here. However, the soldier is still alive. He can get something done on this medic. He has the high ground advantage, but he doesn't have the splash damage of the regular rocket launcher. So if he had the regular rocket launcher, the medic would most likely be dead by now. So let's see what small plays decides to do. He can't really get the medic. He hits him once. Medic craters to his death. And by craters, I mean gets shot by Jess. The scout gets taken out. Some nice scout work there, finishing him off. Sniper versus sniper battle, doing the jumpy, switching weapons, get yourself stressed and not relaxed and miss a lot of your shots technique that we see on a lot of snipers use, and then he dies. Uh, so we got small plays and moving up. Mr. Mutley. Not Mutley, Mute Parts. Gonna be grabbing some help. He is running there in Busy Watch, of course. No cloak and dagger shenanigans here. He is just gonna be, gonna be hiding over here. Keep looking. Oh, he's a sniper. Gonna get the sniper. Then there's we have a spy battle going on here. Both spies running a pistol of sorts. <laughs> I was gonna say both are running a revolver, but the other guy's running the ambassador, and he's gonna be clicking spooky. Still having some connection problems here. He is hiding at the back. Uh, and then he blocks the medic. He's gonna bring out the pistol. The medic is forced to retreat. The spy is gonna get so put on fire. There you go. Pyro making short work of him. Nice spy work here by Keeper. Getting a nice couple of stabs in as Noob Man gets the flare kill on the sniper. Nice little crit action there. Noob Man, he's in Jurati right now, but I wonder if he will be able to get anything done at the moment. There's a soldier here with the dark hit. Those are so hard to reflect. 
But keep in mind, they're so good if they're reflected as well. So we'll just see what he does. He decides to give away his position to everybody, even though they know he's there. And he's kind of trapped behind enemy lines, so he won't be able to do too much as of right now. Maybe we'll see him in the future as a kind of a hero, pyro moment. Uh, he is still alive though, so he's not where he needs to be. And as long as your opponents are not where they need to be, you can just keep them there. Soldier bombs in, tries to take out the scout, but then he's going to get headshot as he tries to rocket jump. Pretender, pretending he's a sentry and killing everything, and then he's going to fall back. Uh, to the front. <laughs> Sees the sticky trap, and then he's like, oh yeah, that's a sticky sticky trap. I guess I'm gonna shoot it. And then he's gonna shoot the guy that laid the sticky trap, and then he's gonna shoot the guy that was protecting the guy that laid the sticky trap. So, kind of uh, putting some sticks in their uh, wheels there. Slowing down the operation. Noobman, is he still behind the enemy lines? Keeper here. They're taking out a sniper. Wolf healing, where is Noobman? He's finally gotten himself into possession. Some way, somehow. Tender. Throwing a health kit, and then he's gonna go at it again. But unfortunately, there's just too much uh, blue this time, and he goes down. There's a sandwich going on there. So they have a defense set up. They have a dispenser. They have a level three. So it all comes down to how deal with it. Uh, engages this really. So the spies in Jiraiya, they see him. The dome man. Well, they see him, but I do don't do anything with them, and they just allow him to live, which is gonna be a mistake. Karma gets a snipe on Elucid. Elucidate. Difficult names indeed. Spy here is alive and now he dead ringers. I mean, he's gonna be you know, running inside over the side here. They know he's there. They should know, the medic should know, the medic should know, but the medic's being pressured. Nice little force there. Pyro's gonna be separating the medic and the devil man. He's not gonna be able to do anything, but somehow he gets keeper! With a nice little roller, he's got to be feeling pretty smug about that. Some pipes rolling in here, hits the medic once. However, the medic is fine as he's forced to retreat. The soldier goes flying, and this crater's down on a crate of all things. And finally, they're pushing on. They have, uh, they're currently setting the time, so they have all the time of the map uh, offers them. But they really want to set this as fast as possible, and... Uh, the red team's just... Absolutely keeping them at bay, of course. Uh, red team being secondhand mercenaries. SHM, yeah. And blue is DVI, not dance with intensity, but deal with it. That's what they are, yeah. So you have a soldier here. Nice headshot on the medic by the blue sniper. Elucidate. Elucidate. He has to have an elusive date. He's gonna be sniping it up once again. This tree is really in the way, you can't really see past it. Uh, nice little obstacle there. He's just been, yeah, if you guys are not gonna push the cart, I will. Holy crap. And then he goes down. And now we have a pause. Pause is over. We have TF2 on ice and people opting not to take any shade whatsoever. This pyre is like, nope, not taking any shade and not moving my legs. And so. This is situation with the rest of it. So Karma gets the engineer with a nice little headshot here. Karma with the festive rifle. Gonna be throwing that on the spy eventually. Alright. And then he's really well and gets taken out by pistol fire. Nothing he could really do there. So it looks that he is uh, rolling back and forth. He seems a bit uncertain of what he wants to do. He's not being as effective and now he's being pressured by a scout. He is, is, is being denied, but he's not doing anything, so that is kind of kind of indecisive play there, and that really hurts your play. You don't want to be as efficient as possible, especially as a sniper. Uh, the demo man decides to do some defensive stickies when they're on offense. Uh, not sure why MJ opts to do that, but perhaps somebody is making a push there. He would be able to stop them or something like that. He shoots a really long sticky over. Uh, does he actually hit anything? There's another sticky. Well hit what was there, but they ubered. So maybe a level 4 stare, the medic is really low. He's gonna get a sandwich from his hoodie. Now he is going to be fine. Soldiers are bombing in here. It looks like they're holding soldier battle, they're flying in the air. Soldier goes flying again. And we see that push is slowly but surely happening. The sentry is wrangled in the back but it's currently not being repaired. So yeah, down to go. They just keep firing at a nice work of the direct hit there, just taking out that little mini sentry because the 
The big level 3 sentry, which is absolutely under no circumstance a mini sentry. Uh, taking that out with some direct hit rockets. We can see, you see a lot of players use that on maps like this because the sentry are usually in the back, just wrangled. And the direct hit is a nice way to deal with that dare wrangle. And I still haven't pushed the cart. We've seen some Ubers. The soldier is bombing. And the engineer put some time on the cart here, but it keeps rolling back. Because if we put it on this ledge, it will go the other way, as the arrow says. There's a Karma here. Gonna be have a sniper battle with the other guy. But then, uh, yeah, he actually gets some. He's throwing to Jurati. And he gets stabbed. Wonder. Doing the wondrous jump. Oh, he's gonna get the medic. One sticky bottle pipes. Unfortunately, it doesn't get him. I thought I would get him, but I spoke too soon. Uh, switching to the bottle. Bit of a mistake there. The engineer's like, well, I guess... Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> I get sandwiched between a medic and a heaven. I think the medic actually got an uber sign on him. But here's the crits. Nice engagement here by MJ. And this heavy really messed up his play. And then they lose their medic and their momentum. So that got to hurt the medic the Demo is uh, on low health, actually took a lot of damage there. We have the soldier getting killed by a reflex by Drugi. That Drugi guy is really nice with the reflex. Uh, Drugi, of course, the one being reflected. Spy here, gonna go for drop, gets the heavy, doesn't get the pyro, gets taken out by the scout. Counter Uber popped, uh, not too effective here as so the pyro just pushes him back. Being the last air blaster, of course, or the only air blaster on this team because you're only allowed to have one pyro. They're gonna be pushing the cart forward at 10 minutes, which is a lot uh, slower than last time. So we will see how this goes. Babies are moving up. The spy is in the fray here, gets the heavy once again, and the sniper before he dead ringers away. Karma is looking at the cart, so if anybody just comes through the cart, what is that fire? Might be a graphical glitch, because uh, that is not supposed to be there. So we have Karma, yeah, he's gonna be looking through this, jumping through the flames. He's gonna be seeing the engineer, the cart is moving forward. This engineer is really doing a job of just getting the cart moving, because there isn't a lot more that he can do. So we got Wolf here, he sees the spy on Cloak, and then he uses the... the uh, saw and then he pops it for some reason pops it on the soldier that's gonna jump up and don't do that much damage he's gonna take out a teleporter and they use an uber for a teleporter which is not a good trade other soldier jumps in forces the dead ringer on the spy and the retreat of him then he is the other soldier is retreating and he goes down to a pipe sticky bomb launcher grenade launcher bomb <laughs> he goes down to sticky bomb yeah taking out the sniper as well being super out of position we got a noob man, just chilling out, denying this choke area. Currently four minutes left to uh, push this, not the best of times. So we've seen a really good defense out of um, the red team. Scout here doing some pressuring work of the medic running with the crits. Brings out the uh, sign here and gets the medic with the signpost. And he just beat you with the sign, man. And that is the sign of something, something. Yeah. Scout having a bit of a laugh. Sword coming in. Doing some damage. Gonna be working on the sentry. Wanna reload two rockets this time? He's actually gonna reload all four of them. One rocket, two rocket, three rocket, four rocket. Damn it! Didn't get it, unfortunately. Because I'm the medic TF2 deserves. Still running the crit scrig. Interesting choice for def for attack. Usually go with Uber, just out survive your opponents. Usually the defenders that go with uh, with the crits. So there's a lot of smoke in the middle here. And, uh, both heavies are dead. This heavy, the soldier with the buff banner. That very nice timing. Gets the medic and then gets taken out. So. Wonder gets taken out as well, and card is actually moving backwards. A bit of a equal trades here as people are dying left and right. It's currently just a sniper watching the card here. Where here comes some guys putting on some more time. The heavy is back. Uh, card isn't going forward. The heavy is all by himself. He's on fire. He is going to go down fairly quickly, and down he goes. And we got Mute moving up as a spy. 
Ryan, too spooky, is going to be doing some pressuring of the medic here, doing some nice flank work here through the vents. Can't jump up there, bro. Because we just got confirmed. Maybe with the uh, atomizer and the force of nature, you could. Keeper with another backstab on the medic and then taunting, calling him a bad doctor. That's going to hurt your pride when the spy does that to you. It never feels good. So we have a small place here, doing a bit of a reload action. Mute. Gonna be moving up eventually. Forcing, uh, going with the dead ringer, and he, yeah, he's just going for the dead ringer push here on the cart, being denied the cart. He's really close, and they actually pop it on the cart for no real reason. Soldier jumps out, and he is gonna go for the scout of all things, getting Jess, and then the pirate just gonna burn him and hit him with the extinguisher and taking him out. And the cart is ridiculously close to the edge now. I'd really like to see a level 3 sentry push, but they only have 1 minute and 22 seconds to do this. And the level 3 is up and deal with it. Hasn't really been able to to do that much this round. Like, they, they every push they've done has been thwarted by the enemy because they just had better defense this round. But uh, let's see, Karma here overextending a lot. Maybe he wants to get, take the uh, attention away from the current onto himself. Bit of a distraction action. You can see the soldiers target firing him instead of going for for the cart or the sentry, which is more important at this point in time. So the spy hasn't even been able to get close. Uh, the spy has just been focusing on the cart here. And only 45 seconds to do this. I don't think um, Deal With It's going to be able to push this. This looks mighty tough to pull off. Here comes the spy, he's gonna come on the left side here. No, he's not, he's gonna go for the card again and then get immediately destroyed by the sentry. And by the sentry, I mean the mobile sentry, which is the heavy. Some pipes coming in here, finally, the sentry goes down. 23 seconds left to go, the sentry is down. People are in the windows. That pirate is dead. Engineer builds at level, <laughs> level 1 down there and it actually finishes. And there's 10 seconds left on the clock. Sentry goes down and they really have to swarm the cart and it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to do this scouts on the cart heavy comes down and is just not enough Currently overtime people are just flooding the cart and uh, Yeah Secondhand mercenaries holding the round like a boss So now teams have been switched We now have uh, secondhand mercenaries Having to beat the time of deal with it. It's currently what's going on right now, so let's take a look at the engineer for second hand mercenaries. Yeah. Um yeah, there is we got Calypso. He is opting to build something eventually. Eventually he's gonna build something. Mission begins in 30 seconds. At any point in time, he will build something. And he builds a sentry first. And in, instead of grabbing the metal, he... Just build a defensive spirit first next time. Just build... And there's nothing here to help this team. No defense around. I think this pirate is like, hey. Sup. So let's take a look at the red sniper cam. One. He is going to be watching. Here we go. Gates are open. Sees the spy. Now that the spy. He doesn't want to fire. Oh, heavy. That's the only guy you want to fire on. Gets the heavy. Nice work here. And as you can see, he's like hiding in this little area here. In this little hut. Not that easy to see. Great spot for our cousin of the medic TF2 deserves. Doing that heal. We got the, pr the pretender on the cart here, pushing, leading the cart, uh, and the push by himself, currently being on fire by Pyro. But then he gets taken up by the enemy uh, Pyro. Pencil here, pushing the cart like a boss. And a nice little uh, cleanup there by um, Secondhand Mercenaries, really pushing the cart here. Calypso, uh, being one of the few people still alive. Spy here with a nice little Matador, tricky, tricky, tricky stab here. As the sentry is gonna go down because it's actually a terrible spot. And he's like, I know it was in a terrible spot because I'm dead. And now they're gonna move. Somebody says they were rude, say you're sorry. 
That's what Goku says. Scouts on the cart, wanting a high five. Nobody's giving it to him. Spy with my backstab here, and it looks like Second and Mercenary is just gonna roll through here. Uh, so they've seen the chinks in the armor of um, deal with this defense. So it was to see they only have to capture three points uh, in order to win. And if they, if not, if they don't, they have until the map time goes out to cap the final point. So we're gonna be seeing beauty here. Oh, he's hiding. He is hiding. And then he decides to go for it. There you go. There he is. 17 health. Oh, he goes for it. He stabs it. The heavy didn't hear him. And he doesn't get the stab. The heavy beats him to it. And then the other spy just stabs him. And then the other sniper kills that sniper. Because I'm the medic. And he, everybody he tries to heal gets killed. He's like, oh no, I'm next. Retreat. Retreat. Okay, just heal this guy. Yeah, cool. Not retreating. Falling back is for pussies, my friend. Uh, is what Heavy says to the medic. Mm, the Karma here with some nice headshots. Taking him out, but Jess here is gonna make sure it work out. Right. Taking up the sniper! And Jess here is gonna be working away at this fat man. Doing the damage, but he's currently being healed, so that is gonna be pretty hard to do. So yeah, the cart here moving forward. Eventually, Heavy is on the high ground in a really good position here. Only thing that can kill him is a jumper. Uh, soldier or a bunch of bombs uh, that unfortunately didn't do it. And Spooky times out once again, so apparently some connection issues there. Calypso with his, his sentry first, always first. Losing your buildings without really doing anything kind of build. Unfortunate engineer with their soldiers trying to chase him, as you can see, he's in the back. Really don't want this engineer alive to build any kind of sentries, but it's been really. There's basically been no sentries this round. The sentries have been fairly ineffective uh, on Calypso's part. So we got small plays. Soldier direct hit action can be running around here. And he's gonna be taking out this mid sentry before dying himself, not at the best of trades. And we're saying don't worry about it. No, deal with it! Deal with it is like don't worry about it. Don't worry about it is a brother clan. Check him out. Sometime. So elucidate falling back on four health. Because I'm the medic. TF2 deserves. Running that Chris Creek with his heavy building on absolutely no one else, because no one else is around. He has a bunch of plans floating around his head. You could say he's an astronomically good medic. That is so. That one is so dry that the desert seems moist. Light emitting Diddy uh, leaves the game as well. So apparently, no more. Class don't they have? They don't have a pyro. Yeah, no more pyro for a defending team, and that's gonna be really tough. Uh, both teams have been having some problem connection problems here. We got MJ taking out a bunch of guys here doing the damage. As the car keeps moving forward. Yep, some uh, nice stickies here. Gets taken out. The keeper gets small. Not a not a backstab, but just like a regular knife stab. Wolf to Medic healing up about 80% Uber. Gotta have a bit of an Uber advantage, that's what they need at this point. Is there anything here? Well, there's some guys in the house. Uh, that's gonna be cleared out fairly quickly. But Mendic goes down to uh, shotgun fire. The heavy is alive and alone, and there's an Uber pop, and he's like, I'm just gonna run uh, here and get slaughtered by this engineer. So, not the best of holds there, as we see in the defense of a deal with it kind of just uh, dwindle about sniper versus sniper. I don't think he saw him. He can actually stand on top of this roof here, which is going to be pretty nice. I already have a pink head, so you stick out like a sore thumb. And he's unable to get the headshot on the side. Just take your time, align the shots, and there you go! Take him out, body shot, headshot, doesn't matter, he's still dead. One thing you'd notice is that people complain when they get killed by body shots. They don't complain when they get hit by a body shot and survive. And oh, little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky trap there in the bushes. Bye, MJ. He's gonna be reloading his gun. Then, uh, reloading some more and just doing some more spamming business. Then we're up. Soldier comes up top. Uh, heavy comes up as well. There's a level uh, two sentry here. 
fairly decent spot, I guess. Unless it's really not, because the Dome Man can just super easily kill that one sticky. Well, the spy comes in and is like, Hey, Dome Man, you didn't have to do anything, so I just kill it for you. And, yeah, so we are st still are still down one man because of technical issues. They haven't paused because the uh, blue team has been missing a player. Stuff like some technical difficulties going on. So apparently, they don't have a pyro. It's a bit un unfair at that point. Elucidate. I'm be battling this other sniper once again, and who's gonna come out on top? Is it Karma or is it Elucidate? Place your bets. It's gonna be Karma, because he did the little jump around uh, trickery stuff there, yes, nice work. So we got Mute. Uh, those crits going on here, not being too effective, actually not getting anything with that uh, crit screen, just doing a lot of damage from a push and just getting the kills. But some way, somehow, the push has uh, slowed down. So we got Calypso running up here. Can be running back here. Is he gonna be built in the middle of the fire field? The answer is. No, he's not gonna build it, right? Yeah, build it here. In the open and most easy to kill area. Build it there. And there he goes, slow one. And down he goes, didn't last very long. So that's unfortunate, I guess, that engineer. He's not a main engineer, because he's like, I get the feeling he's like, what do I do? But finally, some crits that does something. MJ with the kills here doesn't want to get killed by a spy either. Pyro is putting on some pressure as there's still only eight players. And that player then is going to hurt them in the long run. But uh, surprisingly, second-hand mercenaries are still not able to get that point. Uh, on two minutes and 30 seconds left before we go over to some uh, other kind of uh, rules here. Uh, just keep in mind, all they have to do is cap this one point in two minutes and they win. That's what they do. Heavy mows through everything with his heavy lawnmower. Level 1 Wrangle dies once again. Should really build on the last point, but unfortunately, that is going to be a good round. And Spooky Time's out again, so now both teams are 8 players. So we are going to go on to a third round. And we are back with the last and final game, final round. They're currently tied up still. Uh, don't worry about it, don't have their pyro. So it's some technical differences going on over there. So let's see if Calypso is doing better this round. He is gonna be building here, which uh, I guess can work. Soldier Sue's adding in some metal and then he's just gonna <laughs> completely waste that and not build a dispenser at any point in time ever. Currently 18 seconds about to go. Let's take a look at the defending sniper cam. It's lucid it's still in his little sniper spot with his pink hat, making sure to be as visible as humanly possible. So gates are about to open and let's see if he's able to get any picks right off the bat. Here comes a spy. Uh. Maybe he's running with Fist of Steel, which means you can't really kill him because it takes a lot of hits to go down. He's a good train himself before I gets the headshot on the Pyro though. So they're running the crits here and they pop it on the Heavy and he's in a really good spot here, just being like a semi-sniper I guess. But oh no, the medics on the lower ground, Scout comes in, is currently being pressured. Scout falls into the ditch. And now the engineer has moved his sentry over here. And now he's gonna build a dispenser, yeah. Eventually he's gonna build a dispenser. Here comes a bit of an uber pusher, soldier jumping in the air. The sentry's gonna push him in the on the other side, but the old man taking the high ground here, and that is what he needs to do. Look at this angle he has at the sentry. He just takes it out like a boss. No problem, easy operation for wonder here. Anti-aircraft gun is gonna work away on the soldier. And spooky. Also having some connection issues this game, so it's not just uh, don't worry about it. This guy's also been timing out a lot. Perhaps it's some bad internet connection ones. Yeah. So we got Keeper 184. 
can be battling this medic with the ambassador. This medic is, of course, uh, days are numbered because he's all alone and people are like, chasing him. And he, if he escapes, which he doesn't because he's dead, I would be really surprised. And if he got, got an escape, that would have been, yeah. That was surprising. So we have Wonder here moving forward. going to be reloading his gun. They're really pushing hard. Keep in mind, they will be setting the time the enemy team has to beat in order so if the enemy team can't beat it they win if they do they lose so apparently uh, all eyes are on them to set a time as a time that their opponent can't beat and for the red team they're like yeah let's put a time that make him have a time that we can easily beat so you got small plays here I'm gonna be hiding around this upper area still running the crit screen though but you gotta look out for that spy man the spy gets a stab on the medic no more than that, it's just gonna allow these guys to push even more because they have the cart and the cart heals and it's a movable dispenser that actually moves around. So they have all their classes clustered together, so many down for red, and they're just gonna get so much ground with this as long as they keep times three on the cart. So I'd really like for the engineer and the scout alone to cap this. Oh, look at that. Did you see that guy? Did you hear him? I don't think the other guys heard him, but I did. And here he comes. Here comes Muti, and he is going to. Stab no one, he's gonna get murdered instead. Whoops! That happens sometimes. And he always did it with a headshot on uh, Droogie Droogie, too Chevy. A guy I really like, cause he's like, gets killed by something, he goes, nice shot, man. Nice shot. And even if it's a body shot, he just goes, nice work. Cause he's sincere. Nice air shot! By small plays there. Getting that crits, because you get mini crits if you air shot people with a direct hit. It's super, super, super good. And look, wow, look at this time from uh, secondhand mercenaries. Wow, this is insane. They basically had times three on the cart this entire round. And they're just moving up and putting out some pressure. Here comes the spy, though. He gets the sniper and doesn't get the scout, though. And then he's going to be uh, trying to clock away, but he's not running the dead ringer, so he gets taken out. And. The cart is moving so fast right now. He's moving times three all the way. Here comes the scout. He's going to try and get the medic. And the demo man gets the medic instead. But the medic from blue team is dead. But however, they're like, yeah, let's just continue to push the cart. Even if our medic's dead. Our medic's dead. I don't know. Let's keep pushing. Nice hedge up there by Lucid uh, at the door. Throwing Javadi on the cart. Hitting the heavy. However, nobody is there to capitalize on that. And light emitting Diddy. Finally joins the game, the player that has been missing for this entire round and most of the last round as well. Um, but will he be the one to save the day? I am not sure because they have to hold this for 12 minutes! Which is an absurdly long time for such a short distance and I just have so much momentum. Calypso is not, doesn't even have a sentry, they don't have the numbers and they're just moving in. They got the momentum. Solar tries to do something and this is going to be the shortest round this game actually. Bomb is so close, and down it goes at 4 minutes and 26 seconds, oh, which is a really good time. So now teams have been switched, people calling good round. Uh, I do not think that uh, deal with it will be able to deal with this time. And now they're finally 8 players, so they have to beat a pretty much a roll time. It's essentially what they have to do. And people are in trouble switching loadouts, so we will be seeing level 3s on attack. Some trash talk going on. Can't pick anyone but the sniper. Pre Zero Spy. Mission begins in 30 seconds. So. The engineer he doesn't really know what he's doing. I think he, he's like the guy that doesn't really play engineer and it's like, hey, our engineer can't play, you have to play. Is uh, then. Is, th is then that what I thought it might be because words? Mission yeah! You followed that one, didn't you? Because that was a good one. Let's look at the blues. Oh, I really looked up the already kid all the time. Let's look at the red sniper. Red sniper. Karma! Just keep... There you go. Finally. He's going to be uh, as exposed as possible and then get immediately uh, sniped by the other sniper. So not the best of positions there. Mute here. Hiding on top of this. Instruction. Prop, crits pop for blue team as they critting on uh, offense here. Mute, uh, actually being realizing he's on blue team, he's like, all right, I don't need that to stand there anymore. Sentry is still up though, and this crits has been fairly ineffective, and the card isn't moving. And 
this isn't looking good for uh, deal with it. I guess they just have to deal with it. I guess uh, they can't search the loadout. They're still running the crits. Things aren't looking good. So that's a bummer. Like it said in chat, they can't search loadouts because then you won't be able to maximize this. And I think because of that, it's actually going to cost them the game. But I don't think even with the loadouts, they wouldn't have been able to to stop the uh, pain of which the other team has enforced upon them this round. Currently only 3 minutes and 20 seconds left, they haven't been kept for the first point yet. This is not looking good, I don't think there's enough time to push it all the way. Uh, especially with the resistance that uh, secondhand mercenaries are putting up. So we will see though, then when it comes in, jumps, they really pushing the cart here, stuff and bits flying everywhere. Droogie Droogie, the good guy, he is a uh, uh, good guy Greg of this match. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's one of those stoner friends who's like, yeah, totally, man. I just took out my shampoo and I put it back in the fridge, man. Guess that's what he looks like. Looks like this acid guy with this. I mean, who else has a treasure chest with an octopus and a green beard and a green glasses? Who does? So crits once again, being fairly effective, getting uh, three people already, and fourth guy goes down. Last crit rocket on the soldier. Something moving in here. And we have Spooky here, this entire game, trying to get a catchphrase from his own name, which doesn't really work that well. So Heavy takes out the sniper, and they're really pushing the card here, but there's only times one, and they really, really gotta push this really hard. Push it really hard the front door as much as they can, just nudge it in there is what they have to do. That's a spy, though. Sapping the level... They actually have a level, level 2 sentry forward. And this, you know, this dispenser is actually going to help a lot, except that he got shot. And this guy's like, oh, she's sentry. Can't, can't go there. So this sentry is actually helping <laughs> by not allowing the scout to jump in. And the dumbass is like, oh, sentry? That's not supposed to be there. And then he's supposed to, supposed to fall back, but he doesn't. And then he dies. And we got pencil here. Having a bit better sentry placement than um, uh, the other engineer. Crits coming in. Keep in mind, crits doesn't do critical damage to buildings, only players, so it's actually kind of bad to use against buildings. Karma here. Uh, taking his time, shooting, stressing himself out, making sure that he hits and finally doesn't jump, and he shoots the other sniper in the head and then jumps. Doing the crouchy, glitchy stuff. It's just holding on the air, looking pretty good. They're looking pretty. So only one minute left. They're looking so strong right now. There's absolutely no way that uh, deal with this can take this in any way. Uh, they have one. This is officially GG. We're basically just waiting for this time to run out. And uh, yeah, good game so far. So if you have a game you want to send to submit to me, you can send those to hi GPS tf2 at gmail.com. I also have a website, hiagps.no, where all the videos get posted first. And if you want to support me uh, in any way you can, but you don't want to give me money or give me anything, you can just watch my videos on my site and watch an ad and that will actually support me. So you can do that if you want, and if you don't want to support me, or want to watch my videos, you can just watch it on YouTube. So 13 seconds left here on the clock, currently GG. Um, second hand mercenary wins the game two to one after a very um, very long match and uh, thank you for watching